Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Jason Park. I'm a feature filmmaker with HyperTube Productions and today I wanted to discuss with you guys what an interesting time that we're actually in and how I believe that Hollywood has a golden opportunity to do something that they've never done before and to do it at such a large scale that would give such a refresh to the audience um, and their favorite characters and franchises into the box office. I think it would be a big hit, similar to how when Marvel came out with all the characters with Iron Man, Captain America, and they had those billion dollar wins one after another and they were dominating the box office. I think Hollywood has a golden opportunity right now to do a massive mashup of franchises. I, it's it's so golden that I don't understand why these studios are not tapping in to these projects and mashing them and combining them together. Like, could you imagine, right? You get a six film saga and it's Marvel and DC. It's Superman and Iron Man and they're working together to go and fight Darkseid and Thanos who's decided through the time skipping that they've come into each other's world and they're going to work together to destroy everything or whatever. And you have your favorite characters from, from Marvel. You have Wolverine with, you know, the Joker. And you have these odd pairings and you create these, uh, these films that really take the imagination of both sides. Because now you're not competing against DC fan or Marvel fans. You're bringing them both together for the opportunity of expanding the imagination of what would happen if these characters were together, right? You can take a franchise like Fast and the Furious and you mix Fast and the Furious with, you know, James Bond or Mission Impossible, right? I just saw Mission Impossible. The latest one is fantastic. But you mix Mission Impossible and he has to go with Dom and Fast and the Furious and that crew to go and do this, uh, sorry about that. To go in and, and, and you know so save the world, right? You can mix James Bond with John Wick, and they they're fighting, and then they they they're fighting each other or hunting each other, and then they come back, and then they you know realize that they've gotten set up, and then they go and get the bad guys. You know, there's so many things you can do. You can do now that they've done Mortal Kombat. You can have a fusion of Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter, and they gotta fight you know M, M Bison, who's figured out that. You know, through Shane Sung's powers, they were able to do this. There, there's just so many avenues that you can go. If you think about Mario Brothers and how that film, great film, dominated the box office, got a billion dollars. But could you imagine if, if Mario was working with Sonic, then they were working with Pikachu, and they were teaming up to go help save the world. Like every kid and teenager and man my age would go and watch that. You can have anime film crossovers where you got, you know, Goku and Dragon Ball Z and then you got Gojo and Jujutsu Kaisen and he needs the help of Goku. Like, th there was just endless possibilities. You can take your favorite, your favorite franchises. You take Star Wars, right? And then you mash Star Wars and you think about Jedi's and, and, and Luke and you think about, okay, it's the hero journey. Well, then how can I mix that up together? Maybe you mash up Star Wars with Star Trek. Or you take Star Wars and you take, you know, something that's futuristic like the Predators or, or aliens, really, for that matter. And you have aliens, you know, the Jedi's battling a planet full of aliens. Like, like these, these opportunities are so golden that I don't understand why these studios don't just come to each other and be like, listen, you own this franchise, I own this franchise, it's 50-50, go into it and let's make stuff for the fans, right? Right now, all we're getting is remakes, rehashes, the second, third, fourth, sixth film in the franchise, but like nothing original is happening. But what you can do is take an original IP and an original IP, instead of rehashing it, you combine it for something completely new, right? Like it, it, it would bring such a new refreshing life to the world that I think uh, it would generate so much money because now you're getting audiences from every side, every age, every generation, right? Imagine you have a movie where it's like you incorporate Dexter and Michael Myers in the same movie, right? And Michael Myers is trying to kill Dexter, who's a serial killer who kills killers. Like, and like, or, or you do, you know, what they did back in the day when they had Jason versus Freddy, 
Like, there's just so many things that you can do. You could have a, a team of hunters, right? Where you have Michael Myers and Jason and Freddy, and then you have a group of predators that are hunting these, these characters. Like, like, there's just so much that you can do that I feel like that, that Hollywood is just missing out on so much. Like, imagine if they took Barbie, billion dollar, you know, series and, and film, and you mix that with Charlie's Angel. And now you have Barbie doing some spy shit. Like, like there's so much that could be done that it's absolutely mind-blowing me that it's not happening. Because alone, these franchises generate so much money. But together, like, they could do something so crazy. Like, you could take the Terminator, right? And you could mix the Terminator with, like, um, you know, uh, John Wick, right? And, and John Wick is battling all these dudes, and then you realize that the Terminator's after him, and he's trying to run because he can't kill him, like... There's just so much that you can do with these movies that Hollywood, just give me the opportunity. Just, just, just let me go on like a five movie picture deal and let me just pick the best franchises and let me talk to these people and see if we can come up with something to go in and make these fan favorite, you know, films, right? You do, you, it's like they had it on YouTube where you had the Predator vs. Batman. Like you can make a whole film about that, right? And it it, 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 it it could go so far. You have a hunter and then you have another hunter, right? And they're both hunting each other and how crazy that turns out. You could have, you know, Superman going against whoever, right? Or working together with whoever. And the fans would just... They would love it. If you had a pairing of Superman and Iron Man going against a villain or whatever, like they recruited Superman, it it would just be so crazy that you would have the fans losing their mind because they all have their favorite characters on screen. That's why Deadpool versus Wolverine or Deadpool and Wolverine or Deadpool 3, it, it's going to do so well because you have the fan favorite of Deadpool and you have the fan favorite of Wolverine and they're coming together for a film. Now, this is both Marvel, so it's like, okay, that's a little easier to do, I guess. But, I mean, could you imagine if you had Captain America teaming up with Batman? Like, the, the, the combinations of things that you can do is never ending because there's just so many great IPs out there. There's so many great um, stories and characters that have been cultivated and, and curated over the last... 40 years that Hollywood can tap into and they can just mix and match and just create such great entertaining films and content. I mean, at the end of the day, you say what you want to say about film, but film is just content. It's content to take your time, you pay to watch it or you watch it on Tubi and with ads and it's something to allow you to escape the life that you live every day and live vicariously through the characters or you're living in that moment while watching and enjoying those characters. I think it's a golden opportunity for Hollywood and I really do hope that somebody or some studio head or someone sees this and, and, and that light bulb goes off and they say, wow, that is a great opportunity and, and we should do it. And I think that they should just, they should do it and just do it right, write it well. It, have them characters go together and just make something magical. I'm Jason Park with Hyper2 Productions. Until next time.